I'm Marianne and I'm making a series of videos um, all with the same reference photo these beautiful apples and um, using different mediums and techniques to create um, pieces um, so for this video I'm gonna be using graphic markers um, and um, they are alcohol based so they've got two tips a chisel tip and a pointy tip for more detail work um, and my favorite part about them is they have a blender um, and the blender is I think probably like a, a type of alcohol that mixes the colors together um, and I use them almost like a paint um, so like you can see here in the leaf um, I've heavily used the blender there to really mix the colors together so it's a bit more than just a felt tip um, color paint um, color pen <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show you how I blended um, these colors in the apple and in the leaf um, so I started with um, kind of like a, a, a peachy color like this light orange it's an 140 so I'm gonna use the chisel tip and I'm just going to do like a nice swatch like that and as this dries because it's um, the alcohol um, it blends really really nicely and you you get this um, seamless color block of color there's no lines at all um, and it really helps if you've got the right kind of paper so I've got this shiny um, type of paper it's a, from um, a pad that's specially designed for graphic markers um, and by having shiny paper like this it allows you to blend really nicely without the bleed um, if I were to do it on a normal piece of paper so this is like a photocopy paper um, and I were to put a swatch on there you can see that it kind of starts bleeding through the paper a little bit as the paper fibers grab onto it and the edges of the marker um, where I've left off they start to bleed a little bit and it's really hard to create more precise fine lines so this shiny paper kind of locks in the alcohol um, and it's awesome um, in each of these videos I'm talking about the GSM the GSM is how thick the paper is so 100 GSM is um, is quite thin it's a little bit thicker than my photocopy paper um, but it's nice and thin so it still feels like a page so I've got my peachy color down I'm gonna use this number 13 scarlet and add in a little bit more of a pinky tone now I can do that or here I've kind of used the fine tip and I'm gonna do some lines like that but if we get our awesome colorless blender number zero I can use the chisel top and kind of like flow these together and I always like to have a scrap piece of paper next to me because there's always a little bit of residue with the colorless blender so I like to kind of wipe it off to keep my um, nibs really nice even with the colors when I'm blending them together I want to try and keep them all nice um, and the quicker you act with this blender um, when the, the, the ink is still fresh on the page the more it blends better um, so you can kind of keep layering um, so my shadows were created with I think it was the terracotta um, number 21 and so I can create a little bit more shade like that and then again quickly grabbing my colorless blender and mixing them in again and trying to get rid of some of those harsh um, and wiping harsh lines and sometimes it takes like a minute for the the alcohol to kind of do its thing um, and as you notice um, the blender sometimes um, takes off a little bit of the pigment so it becomes a little bit lighter so just be aware of that but just keep blending and layering um, and have fun with it 
Um, the shadows I created down the bottom here was with the, I think, the number one cool grey. Number one, I th or the warm, I can't, number two cool. Um, I can't remember. Um, but that these really, really, really light ones, light colours, create really nice, um, very translucent, very opaque colours. And with this, I kind of dotted. So, um, I think I used my yellow green, number 48, for the base of the leaf. And I like to be messy with my, just like with paint, just kind of like be super messy with it. And it's kind of fun. And add that. Add a little bit of brown and then dot some little bits like that. And then maybe some peacock. Kind of get that like that. And then get blender out. And now using the tip of it, I'm just gonna dot some of these. And again, wiping my tip. And the more you layer, um, the more effective it will be. So now that I've applied my colorless blender, I can go over that again, especially while it's still wet, and add in a bit more layer. Some, some yellow green again. And slowly, you know, the more you add on it, see how it's starting to like really blend now? That's when it gets super exciting. And it gets to that kind of like murky, you can almost push the pigment around a little bit. So, and then you've got your really nice, your nice blend. Like that. Um, so, experiment and play. Experiment with paper, experiment with the colours. Make sure that you've always got a scrap bit of paper next to you to wipe the tips and to experiment with what colour they actually are. Sometimes what's on the top of these textures isn't really the colour that they look like. Um, so it's always good to do a little swatch before you put it on your art piece. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I look forward to seeing all your graphic marker paintings, drawings.